Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Neville Yashki and I want to welcome you to Bulletstorm Multiplayer. I've already given this a bit of a play, so I can't really say this is a first impression. However, I'm going to give you my impression of this game. Now I'm just giving you a quick private match because, you know, if I join a random party, people are going to be talking over me. You know, you can't understand a single word that anyone's saying. <laughs> Enjoy the prison planet, soldier! Okay, I will. So, this multiplayer is wave-based. You've got to kill things in waves. So it's just like Killing Floor. So, the idea is to kill these things and kill them hard. So it's just like Killing Floor. You have to keep killing them until the number of enemies reaches zero. So it's just like Killing Floor. So at the end of every wave, you get different type of monsters. So it's just like Killing Floor. But also at the end of every wave, you also get shops to go to, where you can spend your points that you have earned. You have a large collection of guns to choose from, and you've got a time limit till the round starts again. So it's just like Killing Floor. Yeah, and let's see you do this on Killing Floor. Ooh, lots of points there. Okay, maybe I can't do that, but I can do this. Yeah, you see, it's really not that impressive when you compare it to something like this. Okay, so maybe it is a bit different than Killing Floor, but you've got to admit, they are pretty much the same game. No, they are not the same game, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Killing Floor has ginormous maps which are perfect for exploration, whereas Bullet Storm? Well, you can literally slide from one of the map to the other. It's that small. Killing Floor also has lots of different classes that you can level up, which are all fun and different. Whereas Bullet Storm, it does not have any other classes. Killing Floor has a shop with tons and tons of guns. Bullet Storm has maybe half a dozen guns. In Killing Floor, you have to actually go to the shop. Whereas Bullet Storm, the shop literally drops within arm's leash. Get it? Leash. Reach. You know, because that's the thing you reach with, with your... Shut up. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was your Bulletstorm multiplayer. If you want my advice, I'd recommend you go for a cheaper option and just get Killing Floor. Or, you can go even cheaper, and if you have Borderlands already, you can get Mad Moxie's downloadable content. Because we all know that was a waste of money save yourself a lot of money than getting this version. So, this is Neville Yashki saying don't buy this game for its multiplayer. The single player is great. Just save yourself some money if that's the kind of multiplayer you really want. Goodbye.